Hello everyone and welcome to some more Pokemon. Well, I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. And we're I we have time skipped and now we are in a uh we're going to go avenge Marowak. Creepy ghost tower full of old ladies. It's a great yeah, it's full of possessed women and also uh the bunch of dead Pokemon. So um we have a friend here. And if we find them, it's very hard to find them inside this tower. I actually ran into them when I was um when I was playing as a time skip, and I ran into uh, said friend, and I was like, I can't catch you off screen. It doesn't count, <laughs> so I had to let them yeah, go. Yeah, if it's not if it's off screen, it's not real. Yeah. So it is not Ghastly. Ghastly is not our friend, but I do like uh, Ghastly's smile here. Yeah, like, hey. he's just he's like mom. I'm on TV. Yeah. Hey, mom. I finally made it onto a Zen and Wookie uh, video. <laughs> My yeah. dream to get in a Zen Wookie video. Oh yeah, that's also for those of you who know anything about Pokemon, that means you know that our friend is Cubone because it's the only other wild Pokemon in this place. Yeah, there's well, there is one other Pokemon it could be, but it's it's Haunter, and Haunter's even harder to find than Cubone. Well, I figured it wouldn't be Haunter since it's not Ghastly. Yeah. Well, it's also because, like, ah, we can catch Ghastly at any point. Let's see. For right now, maybe if we fight Begone Intruders. This Pokemon talks. Oh, God, look at this fucking thing. Are they saying it can only talk uh, when you see, like, that it's a ghost? But once you, it, it's revealed as a Marowak, it can't talk anymore? Yeah. Look at the full-body sprite that Marowak was allowed. <laughs> That's powerful. That's what that is. Yeah, that's this is like this is the stance. This is basically wow. What? <laughs> it's that picture of uh, Zeno taking the stance. Totally. I was really hoping that. And also, if you, for those who don't know, you can't catch this Marowak. Nope. So um, doesn't it just smack the Pokeball away? It does. I could try, but it would never. You know what? We have a bunch of Pokeballs. I'm gonna try. It's asleep, and it dodged the throwing ball. It's weird that it's dodging it, because, I mean, it's a corpse, so obviously you can't catch it. Yeah. It's not even a corpse, it's just a soul. Yeah, definitely. Here, Here's the... I like the um, uh, uh, let's, let's go version of this fight, because I want to say you don't even fight it, right? You just kind of run no, into it. No, you don't it. fight it. It just reveals itself, and then it fucking explodes into light. But but not before it tries to touch the hand of the baby Cubone. Yes, and it traumatizes every player as the Cubone and it almost touch hands and then they don't. Yeah, I'm say I'm telling you again, twenty years from now when they remake this game again, we are gonna see that Marowak get shot in the face. Stop. Bambi style, yeah. Bambi style. See We're gonna we're gonna stop that Cubone from a suicide attempt. One hundred percent, because we're about to save grandpa. I also like that in this version of Fuji, it, they were like... I forgot his name, but uh, it's back to me. It's Fuji. Yeah, uh, Mr. Fuji. Everyone's favorite Pokemon training card. And everyone's favorite uh, wrestling manager, Mr. Fuji. I love Mr. Fuji. Uh, rest in peace, Mr. Fuji. Uh, I at work... Damn, uh, some dark backstory to Mr. Fuji there. Yeah. Well, uh, for those of you who don't know Mr. Fuji from wrestling, um, he was a manager in wrestling whose best known move was throwing dust into people's eyes while they wrestled. Ah. And he hit them with the Fuji dust. So a lot of people would go like, what's Fuji doing? And it'd be like, Fuji dust. And he was like, they hit him with the damn Fuji dust. He can't see anything. <laughs> and then I would go, damn you, Mr. Fuji. <laughs> Why are you so funny? Mr. Fuji, you bastard. He was fantastic. And then uh, in WCW, they gave him his own show, show called Fuji Vice. Which was the plot of Miami Vice, but what if a man called Mr. Fuji, who was in character an Asian man who could not speak the greatest of English, was an action star? <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was fantastic. His work there was just great. Love Mr. Fuji. And so that's why we're beating the shit out of Jesse and James. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't like this. He we looks think like embarrassed. Yeah, that, that Weezing shat his pants before he got sent out of the Pokeball. That, and he didn't clean it up yet. 
that face it looked the big wheezing looks like it made a shitty twitter joke and it got reported and the little one is the one who's proud that he got reported and i died from it the little it. one is the one that reported him yeah and i died from the sludge <laughs> because it was i was my character was literally just standing there going what the fuck are you <laughs> you're traumatized by the reveal of wheezing and now you have to avenge my death the big wheezing is like the older sibling who's getting shit on by their parents for not humoring the younger sibling. And then the tiny wheezing is the younger sibling that cried to the parent. Totally. Also, I do want to mention that every single time I've sent you out, you've gotten a crit with Slash. Yeah, I don't fuck around, man. You do not fuck not around. With disgusting looking wheezings. Not when my dead corpse is right next to you. Yeah. Looks like I can be serious now and again. And it's only in that context. Hello, Mr. Fuji. Why do you look so... How do you feel about this chase? You scared. Uh, is I... that what that emotion was? <laughs> was that supposed to be fear? Yeah. Oops, I talked to this statue and now we're running into Ghastly. <laughs> oh, I thought Mr. Fuji was battling you. I was like, chill, man. No, I think uh, in canon, Mr. Fuji is currently um, praying. Hey, okay. came to save ah. me. I came here on my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mom. Yeah, well, you did a shitty job. Yeah, I I did. I beat the shit out of that ghost. <laughs> I beat that ghost to death a second time. Using psychics from my butterfly? Mr. Fuji has been praying alone for if Cubone's If anything, mother. its soul is probably much sadder now than it was a little bit earlier than this. Yes, Cam. May fall without the love for your Pokemon. Mr. Fuji, why are you dropping truth bombs on me? Here's a flute. <laughs> if you have no love in your heart, your Pokemon will your Pokédex will never be filled. Here's a flute. Now you can wake up your sleepy ass Pokemon. And there you go. And there there goes all my reasons for buying a buying an awakening. <laughs> because yep. the the flute is reusable. Yeah, it's basically infinite uh awakenings. <laughs> yep. So there goes Cubone's mom. Uh we tried to um get our friend uh you know what we have maybe another good three minutes then we're gonna go we're gonna continue looking for our friend and if we cannot right. find him by the end of the video we will call it a uh we'll be like ah uh, you know we tried our best i but... think he shows up in rock tunnel also does he okay so maybe there'll be a later chance so right now we got two choices i'm gonna give you choice a or choice b choice a save rick choice b wake up my brother <laughs> Uh, we have to at least try for the Cubone. You want to try for the Cubone? All right. I feel like we're obligated. Choice C, going in for a friend. Can you guess who the friend then is? Then we'll save Rick, then we'll wake up your brother. Sounds good. I'm going to give hints to people, so if we don't run into them, you can kind of guess who the friend is. They're dead on the inside, so they play gotcha games. <laughs> That's the hint one. So it could be anybody. It could be anyone. Hint two. I think I only ever see them talk about getting fucked. That is exact. Now everyone knows who it is. Do you? Because now it's down to two people. I I certainly have my guesses. Mm. And I will say also he fits with this overall aesthetic. That should be enough to be like okay now you get him. Graveyards. Mm hmm yeah you could say that it's dark uh is this where we learned that because we purified the spirits no more other pokemon will ever show up no nope damn it damn it ghastly <laughs> stop photobombing our, our friendship yeah, quest it's like purify this bitch what's up i'm ghastly I'm, i can't give him ah, what remains the ghost ah <laughs> Ah, it's me, Wood Remains. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in another game. Ah. Level 23, Gasly. Catch me. No. <laughs> Leave us alone, Wood Remains. Wood remains. If you show up as a haunter, Wood Remains, we will catch you. Otherwise, do not bother. It'd be funny if it was a haunter right here. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> ah, I'm back. God damn it, Wood Remains. And now you're trying to confuse me? 
Wookie is confused. It didn't affect Haunter. You know what? Maybe if I just throw a Pokeball, that would be enough. It's not a bad idea. We've had worse ideas. It's true. Ah, uh, don't lick me. This is exactly how he fights, too. It is. <laughs> it's 100% how he fights. Like, even though Haunter has arms, he's like, I'm not using them. <laughs> Alright. Do you think confusion... I don't need them. Uh... Do you think confusion would kill him? No, right? Probably not. You're at relatively similar levels. Okay, good. And he has... I, I will say Haunter is stronger than a Butterfree. With, like, no type advantage, no stab damage uh, confusion. Yeah. As long a as fair I assessment of the situation. As long as I don't crit. Okay. Now we will, uh, sleep. And catch wood remains. God, fucking wood remains. <laughs> yeah. Like, we weren't even here for wood remains. So wood remains was not even on our... No, wood remains was not on the radar. <laughs> and we might not be able to catch him with a Pokeball now that I think about it. He is pretty, uh, endurant. He is. I'm gonna go for the Great Ball. I like the, the there's no difference in look in this generation. Alright! We caught Wood Remains! <laughs> New Pokedex will be added for him. Gas! <laughs> he's not even a ghost, he's gas! <laughs> he's just gas! Yes, we do. Let's see, do we have enough for wood remains, or would it be W dot remains? Yeah, I think it would be W dot remains. It's like he's uh, filling out a business card. 100%. Like, this is when he, that's how he got, when he went to go uh, to an interview with Yugi for Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> to get into the <laughs> sacred cards. I am uh, Mr. W. Yes, please, Mr. Mr. Remains. W ah, Remains. The second. Alright, now, come on. Damn it! <laughs> okay, now it's not Wood Remains. Now it's just, like, a bunch of fucking ghastlies going to us. Um, Alright, one more chance. One more shot. One more run through. And if we make it to right here, we'll see. No. Snow, snow luck on this one. Maybe we'll come back for later. But I want you, everyone, to remember this after we come back for him. That if we ever run into a Cubone, that's the friend. Constantly gets fucked. Has uh, aesthetic close enough to why it would make sense we should catch him here. And um, again, he's dead on side because he plays gotchas. Those are the clues. I'm, I'm trying to find my escape rope. <laughs> There it is. So like the uh the for some reason, even though it's always called Nugget in this game, it's like a got a much worse connotation. Maybe it's the font. Oh yeah, it looks way worse because of that. Alright everyone, we'll see you on the next episode of Pokemon as we probably try and catch Rick and my brother at the same time. In the same episode. Bana Join us next time. <laughs>